Blessed morning, 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 blessed morning. For this is the day that the Lord he has made. I shall rejoice and I shall be glad in it. We are giving honor to God this morning as God is truly, truly awesome and amazing. What a wonderful, awesome and mighty God that we serve. And we just give praise and honor unto God for he is good and he is worthy of the praise. And we just thank him this morning. Uh, you know, we have to just worship God. For God deserves our praise. For God deserves the glory. For God deserves the honor. Blessed morning, blessed morning unto you all. Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Mm, we give praise and honor unto God today. I, um, you know, I'm sitting here and, you know, you just got to give God praise. You have to give God uh, the glory. You have to give God the honor because God, he deserves it. God deserves the praise. God deserves the honor. God deserves it. So you should enter into his courts with praise. You should be glad when they say unto you, let us go into the house of the Lord. Uh, you got to understand that it is very important for us to identify the importance of staying connected with the Lord. Uh, I'm going to play our song in just a minute. Uh, you know, that is our anthem right now. We we love this song. So we're going to play that today. And um, we thank God for what he is doing. Uh, there's actually another song that I'm going to play this morning um, as well. Um, but I have to make sure that I play. There's something about the name Jesus. And that song, it just ushers the Lord into our presence. That song just blesses my heart. That song just does something to me because I love to call upon the name Jesus. Um, I gotta bear with me a second. It's always some kind of, some kind of something. Always some kind of something. But we give God praise. I'm excited today. I ask that you please tag and share the live this morning. God is good. You know, we have to learn how to bind the enemy. When there are things going on around us, we have to learn how to bind the enemy. We usher the Lord into the atmosphere today.
Yahweh. this morning and and this is what I'm looking for I pray that this blesses you this morning thank you Lord I've been looking for hope I've been looking for hope been looking for strength I've been looking for strength been looking for someone I can always call my friend Yes, I've been looking for you. I've been looking for the Lord. Whoa. I guess I've been looking for you. Yes, Lord. Hey. I've been looking for peace. I've been looking for peace. Been looking for love. I've been looking for love. Been looking for a rock that I can always lean on. Mm. Guess I've been looking for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, I've been looking for you. Yes. In the midst of all that's going around, look for the Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Please tag and share this morning. Tag and share the live this morning. Yes, God. Yes, God. I've been looking for you, God. Hey. Yes, Lord. I've been looking for you, Lord. Hey. I've been looking for someone to call. I've been looking for someone to call when I need help. Yes, God. Somebody who can love me in spite of myself. Guess I've been looking for you. Oh, guess I've been looking for you. I've been looking for joy. I've been looking for joy. Been looking for truth. I've been looking for truth. Been looking for purpose and all that I do. Mm, I, guess I guess I've been looking for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, I've been looking for you. We're looking in every wrong place. Look for
for God. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. I thank you for joining the morning encouragement today. It is Tuesday and it is a beautiful, beautiful day to give God praise and to give God honor. And I just want to take the time to just say that God is good. Today we are fasting. If you are not doing our corporate 21 day fast, uh, today is Tuesday. So you know that we fast for four hours and we are reading Isaiah 58 and 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? And I just want to encourage you today, you know, sometimes when we don't see the support that we need, sometimes we feel like we're by ourselves and there's no one there with us. You got to always remember you have the greatest supplier in your corner, and that is God. That you have the greatest source of strength in your corner. And that is God. That you have the greatest foundation in your life. And that is God. If you missed Eminem Night last night, Monday Night Live, please go back and watch it as we were discussing and continuously discussing our series on emotional stability. And, and it's very important for us to understand that God just wants our praise. God wants our heart. God sees and he knows all. You know, sometimes there are so many things that are going on around us. There are so many things that we cannot identify. This morning, I, you know, you're dealing with distractions and you're dealing with, I got to do this and you're dealing with, I got to do that. And this is taking place and that is taking place. And, you know, sometimes it can become quite difficult uh, to stay focused. It can become quite difficult to stay on task, but we have to understand and remember that the Lord is always working on our behalf. If we understand that the scripture says that all things work for the greater good, for those of us who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. So that means that, yes, you might see, you know, some hard times. Yes, you might see some trials and tribulations. Yes, you might see some trouble, but you got to speak life. You cannot be distracted by the things that are going on around you. And you have to learn how to bind up the enemy in the name of Jesus. There are so many people that are going through things. There are so many people that are going through uh, problems and chaos in their lives that they don't understand what is going on. They don't understand why things are taking place. But if you can show them how being connected with God is such a blessing for our souls, God gives you joy. Last night, uh, the Lord put in my spirit about the scripture that says that weeping may endure for a night, but God's joy, it comes in the morning. So we have to understand that, yes, there, there are problems in our lives and Yes, there are things and challenges that we face, but if we continue to hold on to the Lord and know that God is the source of our strength, you have to understand that the enemy will use any door that he can to get in. The Lord is still in control. The Lord is still moving. I hear things right now. I, I feel things right now, but I know that God is a God that can do exceedingly and abundantly all that we could ever hope for or either imagine. So when we seek to God for his strength. It doesn't mean that it will be easy, but it does mean that the Lord will supply all of your needs. The scripture, Psalms 23 says, for the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. So that means that no matter what is going on in your life, understand that because the Lord, our God is your shepherd, that you shall not want. And we have to continue to 
reach out to God, continue to seek out to God, continue to worship the Lord in spite of what is going on, in spite of what they said, in spite of what they told you, in spite of what they spoke down upon you. You have to understand that to God be the glory. It is not your will, but let the Lord's will for your life be done. So I encourage you today to keep pushing forward and understand that this too shall pass, that whatever is going on in your life, if you can allow the Lord to shift your path. If you allow the Lord to come and step in and guide you, you will not go astray. You will not be defeated because God is the greatest power. Please understand the promises of God are yes and amen. So if we continue to hold on to the Lord's unchanging hands, we'll see that weeping, it may endure for a night, but God's joy, it does come in the morning. Keep those that are around you in prayer. Pray for those that are going through. Because just as you are encountering, your brothers and sisters in Christ are encountering too. So know that God is with us. And he'll never forsake us. Or have our seed to beg of bread. We thank you this morning for joining the morning encouragement. And I pray that you continue to seek God and his kingdom. Stay encouraged. And remember to encourage someone today and keep your head up and smile. Know that you matter, that you're important, and that you mean something. You mean something to God. You mean something to me. You mean something to Jesus. You mean something to this ministry. You are important and know that you will make it. So him, who's him? Jesus, H-I-M-M. He is molding me. We pray. We P-R-A-Y. We prioritize righteousness around you. We are hashtagging addicted to Jesus. We bought that Jesus life. We stay ready. We chucking up them deuces to Satan because he got to go. He got to pack all his bags and he got to get out of here. Because uh, we definitely, we are not scared. Uh, pack, he got to, again, pack everything that he brought. Every anxiety, every bit of depression, every bad spirit, every negative spirit, every tormenting spirit. He got to pack all of that. He got to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am bad. I am B-A-D. I am blessed and delivered. We are rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. Uh, they play checkers. We play chess. We're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. Uh, we are hashtagging. We are restored. Pump your brakes. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Stop being extra. You cannot be healed from what you do not reveal. Uh, you are what you answer to. Um, we don't shake. We shift. We pray together, we praise together. We're kingdom for life. Uh, don't say it, just pray it. Don't compromise who and what you are for Christ. In Christ, for anyone or anything, I'm sorry. God will bring you out without a doubt. Trust God even when you can't trace him. We will not bow. Please understand that we only bow to Jesus. We will not bow. And uh, we're not living in a pandemic. We're living in a shift-demic. Stay in your lane. Uh, we worship us, baby. And uh, we stay ready so we don't have to get ready. And I will not be moved. Now, my most personal favorite, you guys know, I'm getting ready. I'm excited. Our t-shirts are coming. And uh, we kingdom, baby. Listen, we kingdom, baby. We walk in a kingdom mentality, a kingdom authority, and know that we're kingdom, baby. I thank the Lord for the men of God for this shirt. It says, worship is my lifestyle. Uh, Minister um, Gab, mine is his ministry. Uh, Minister Greg, and we thank the Lord for the man of God uh, for such a wonderful shirt. Worship is my lifestyle. And uh, we just give honor and praise to God today. So trust in the Lord and do good. And know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. Know that all things that they work for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness. And in all things, acknowledge God in all of your ways. And he will direct your path. Be sober-minded, well-balanced, and vigilant in your spirit. Because that enemy of yours, the devil... He roams around like a fierce lion, seeking for someone to devour. God bless you. Continue to seek the Lord, trust in God, and know that God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed day in God, and be encouraged. God bless you.